Hello, welcome, welcome. I wanted to talk about my favorite in the Full Moon series, Full Moon Pictures, I should say. So, years and years and years and years and centuries ago, it seems anyway, I discovered a film that I absolutely love came out around 1990 I believe it was and uh, wasn't quite that long ago when I finally saw this movie but I've been a fan of it for probably around 20 years now and I am talking about the subspecies series it's not just the first film but I actually love the whole series and I was really excited when I first or just recently heard that they are actually finally doing, after over two decades now, a brand new subspecies film. Uh, I did a little research into it and I read that it was actually the very first series that was actually filmed in Romania. I think it was like the first film ever that was really shot in Romania. Now they've done a bunch of others since then that were really shot in Romania, um, including uh, two of the later prophecy movies, which I really like too, but we're not going to talk about non full moon pictures movies. So of all the full moon pictures, I think that subspecies is by far my favorite series number one but this is in no particular order now the next one that i really love is the puppet master series this is loved by many it's either loved or hated by many um they've made what is it now 12 13 of these movies um, every single one of them completely straight to video movies, which are pretty cool. Uh, that gives them a lot of ability to be able to put out these movies and, uh, do whatever they want, giving the straight to DVD or VHS or, you know, of course, back in the day it was VHS straight to video movies. They were able to just go crazy with them and just have all this, um, freedom to do whatever and that's what the beauty of having straight to video is because in theatrical releases the studio steps in and they're like oh no in order to play this on the big screen gotta water it down gotta give it um you know the ability for kids to go see it and it's like no we don't want kids to see these you know these are horror movies so they were able to go balls to the wall and get crazy with it um of all the characters on there there's uh i would have to say blade is my favorite one and actually i think he might be listed as like uh the number one favorite of all in the puppet master series and now like puppet master is um has a lot to do with uh, the occult during World War II because these dolls were created by uh, a Nazi during World War II who like literally put his soul, he was like a toy maker and uh, he like put his soul, his blood, sweat and tears into these dolls literally and just uh, yeah, they came alive. They're, uh, each one of them have a bit of his essence in there is like a soul and uh yeah they all have a mind of their own and they're pretty interesting characters and so blade has been loved so much he ended up getting his own film and uh yeah he's a really cool character um just really really love that uh the next one that i really loved uh i finally I've been meaning to check this out for years. Um, I actually just watched it for the very first time uh, a few nights ago. And uh, 
I didn't really know anything about it until recently. And actually, uh, being a ginormous H.P. Lovecraft fanatic, this movie is based loosely on uh, The Outsider by Lovecraft. <clears throat> and I really, really loved it. Uh, Castle Freak. Castle Freak was a really interesting story about uh, this family and they move into this house or this castle. And uh, it's basically the uh, family before had this uh, monstrosity that's been stashed away for a long time. Uh, something they were probably ashamed of, you know. And um, Ended up... Uh, you know, being this guy, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Cenobites in a way. He's uh, kind of like torturing himself in a way. And uh, there's a pretty gruesome scene where he like cuts off his thumb in order to get a shackle off of his arms, you know. And, um, you know, he's also this like hypersexual being, like crazy. Um, sees uh, the sight of a woman and he's just like in love and uh, the story is like this guy he believes that uh, his son is dead and it's like a few years later and uh, is played by Jeffrey Combs who was in a few other H.P. Lovecraft movies um, one of my favorite ones is From Beyond it's really cool great film but uh yeah he's uh seeing this creature and this creature is basically like it knows him in a way it's kind of hard to explain and uh yeah i think he really starts to believe that this creature is his son that he was certain had died but yeah, it's really really cool film really enjoyed it it's pretty gruesome if you're into uh gruesomeness and uh it's very uh uh sexually charged if uh you know if that's your kind of horror you know, it's a it's a pretty gruesome movie um Next one is Demonic Toys. I really enjoy Demonic Toys a lot because it's kind of a, a spin-off in a way of uh, Puppet Master. Um, it's along the same lines. I think there was like some kind of... Uh, I don't know if there was like some kind of like legal issue and um, they weren't allowed to do puppet master or something like that i heard something along the lines of some kind of a you know legal issue going on with it but yeah demonic toys is a pretty interesting series it's uh yeah it's kind of a spin-off in a way they had to give it a different name um and it's actually it's just a really really cool series it's kind of hard to explain like how in depth that you can really get with it um but yeah they kind of took it in and in, in a new direction it's it's pretty good it's it's not as good as puppet master though um but it's a fun series uh they made they did actually make a movie puppet master versus demonic toys which uh to my knowledge i don't even think i've ever seen that one and that's one I wouldn't mind seeing, just to check it out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've never seen it before. Um, but that one's on my list. But anyway, it's, you know, they made a few different spinoff films, including, you know, the Blade movie. Um, and then, yeah. Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys and the Demonic Toys series. And I think they made quite a bunch of those. Not as many as the Puppet Master series, but uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, 
And last but not least, and I'm trying not to make this video super long, but um, the last one in my series that I really, really enjoyed um, was The Pit and the Pendulum. And this movie features probably my favorite actor of all, Lance Henriksen. Um, takes place during the Spanish Inquisition. And it's a really, really great movie. It's basically like these people, or this guy, he wants this, uh, this woman in uh, his torture chamber of desires during the Spanish Inquisition. And uh, it was a really, really great movie. It's dark and eerie. And, and if it's got Lance Henriksen, you know. I mean, there's a good chance, you know, not everything is great. But, yeah, he's such a great actor, I think. Um, so I, uh, I went into this movie with uh, full expectations of it being pretty good. And I actually really enjoyed it. I only saw it for the first time probably maybe a year ago and I really enjoyed it a lot uh it's one that I would not mind having in my collection either sometimes the full moon pictures are kind of hard to find um the puppet master series I've seen everywhere but uh subspecies those are kind of hard to come by in on blu-ray format they do have separate versions on blu-ray I except for I don't know if they ever put out the last one in the series, um, Bloodstorm. But anyway, yeah, like sometimes these movies are kind of hard to come by. Now, they did put out a, a Blu-ray of uh, The Pit and the Pendulum. And uh, it's one I would definitely get in my collection. Um, if it's Lance Henriksen, I highly recommend it. He's in one of my all-time favorite movies, Pumpkinhead, uh, and Aliens, of course. Aliens is a classic. But none, nothing to talk about with uh, movies from other companies for now. This is a full moon love and affection um, kind of video, you know. I've, uh, I've been a fan of this company for years and years. And I think uh, Charles Band just created this incredible... You know, a company that, uh, there's been many, many companies like, uh, you know, Roger Corman's company, uh, New World Pictures and stuff like that, that put out great low budget movies. But, uh, yeah, like Full Moon Pictures, there's something special about them. And they've been around for 30 plus years now, and they're still making movies. Um, some of them great, some of them maybe not so great. Um, but yeah. If you're a fan, it's great to sit down and you could get through those ones that are, you know, less than great. Like, I didn't absolutely love every single Puppet Master movie in the series, but I really enjoy them, um, some more than others. Uh, but I there's never been one that I didn't like. So, um, that's really my take on the on top five movies or series what have you of full moon pictures um just really really love everything i i would love to get a brand new rack for blu-rays or dvds or whatever and only put full moon pictures because I've actually completely run out of room. I've got a movie sitting on uh, my TV stand at the moment. And I would love it if I had one, maybe two racks just full of full moon pictures. And if I can do that, that would be fucking great. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming. And a big shout out goes to my boy master chaos tv i'll put a link down there and check out his channel because he's just a really really cool guy he goes into great detail about 
you know, certain movies. He does, uh, he recently did some great Halloween videos. Um, he goes into what's happening currently. So he's talking about uh, Thanksgiving coming up. So he's doing some giveaways, all that good stuff. Really cool guy. And I hope you enjoy. And please come back and please subscribe. Please like. Um, yeah, thank you for coming.